Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so this is the last and final week of Low Spend November, which is where I am using up stuff from my freezer and pantry in anticipation of um, the Christmas season, buying gifts and things like that, just trying to cut back on spending. So I am making a Mississippi pork roast, which I've made a million times on our channel. So in my freezer, I have a, or I had a, like a two, little over two pound um, pork shoulder roast. And that's what you see in the crock pot. On top of that, I have sprinkled some brown gravy, um, ranch seasoning, the equivalent of a package. So this was like three tablespoons and about 11 or 12 of the uh, pepperoncinis or chinis. I'm not sure how to say that, I've never known. Um, so that's in the crock pot along with about a half a stick of butter. The original recipe only calls for six peppers and a full stick of butter, uh, but we like more peppers, so I always add more. And um, using a half a stick of butter, I really can't tell the difference between using one whole stick and a half. So I just always opt for half. In the past, I have tried to add that uh, pepper juice in there and we did not care for it at all. It just makes it so vinegary. It wasn't a, we didn't really care for it. So anyway, I have made this a million times on our channel. If I didn't mention it, I will make sure to link the recipe in the description box. I'm going to cover this and cook it low and slow for eight to 10 hours. Okay, so it's been about 11 hours and here is the roast and it is so tender. I mean, it's just falling apart. Um, but here is our plate and I just made a side of green beans with bacon and onions and bacon fat and seasoned salt. And then I also made some rice, so we're just having it over rice. And that is it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast for dinner, and I scrambled some eggs and added some white cheddar cheese. For the meat, we are having this, um, the smoky breakfast sausage, and they actually taste like Little Smokies but they're bigger, they're longer, uh, but they taste exactly the same. And then I made some honey butter biscuits um, that I had on hand, of course, and I accidentally over baked them. So we may have to take off that top layer, um, but anyway, I'm not throwing these biscuits away. We're gonna eat them. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having these sausage slammers, which I picked up on a recent HEB haul. They come three in a pack and they are fully cooked. And um, what it is is sausage that's stuffed with a cheddar filled jalapeno. And then the um, sausage is wrapped in bacon. So this is what they look like cooked whole. When I baked mine in the oven, there are also grill instructions, and this is what it looks like sliced up. I wanted to see you guys, let you guys see what it looks like on the inside. And that pink that's in there is smoke. It's not raw. Like I said, they're fully cooked. Serving it with a side of pastaroni and buttered corn. I've got some butter, salt, and pepper in there. And here's my corn that I used from the pantry, and here is the pastaroni that I used from the pantry. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this Parmesan encrusted butterfly shrimp that I picked up on clearance from Kroger a while back ago. Thought it was a really great deal. This is a family size packet, and it comes with a tomato Romano sauce. And so here it is in the bowl. I heated it up in the microwave, serving it with a side of pastaroni. So here's our plate. I did deep fry the shrimp as well. I just wanted some deep fried shrimp. Didn't feel like using the air fryer today. Here is the pastaroni. And then we are having the leftover green beans from the other night. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time. 
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making a chicken pot pie. In one of my old church cookbooks, I saw a recipe for a pot pie that uses two traditional pie crust. Um, so what I'm gonna do is fill one pie crust and then I'm gonna top it with this one. So I'm just gonna flip it over and top it. Um, these have been in my freezer for a while. As you can see, they're kind of cracked, but I think because I'm making a chicken pot pie, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. I think it'll still be pretty good. Also in my freezer, I had some cooked chicken thighs that I pulled off the bone. So this is probably maybe a cup and a half or so of um, cooked chicken meat. Then I have a can of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna use some uh, frozen corn and some frozen green beans, probably about a cup and a half or so total. Then I'm gonna season everything with um, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. And if I didn't mention, these are thawed out, so they're not frozen. I wanted them to be thawed out. But I plan on baking these until they're golden brown, until it's golden brown. So I'm guessing probably about 45 minutes. Okay, so here is the pot pie. It's getting ready to go into the oven. Like I said, it was all cracked, but it should be okay. Hopefully it'll still bake okay. But I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Okay, so I just took the pot pie out of the oven. I ended up baking it for over an hour. So what happened was because one of the crust was really broken, I ended up putting the pieces just kind of stacked on there, if you'll remember, and so they didn't get done. So I had to take those pieces that you see on top off, put them on the baking sheet and let them bake and then just added them back in. So the whole pie is completely done, that crust is done. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.